Open Mic at the Stocky Center, Part 2. Thomas Dowsel is the MC. Great job, Thomas, and lots of great talent. Trust me, he's worth the wait. Okay. See, I'm building them up, building the audience up. You gotta live up to your expectations here. Yeah. <laughs> he's a YouTube sensation, let me tell you. If you get online, YouTube Sean Rosel. He's got a lot of his own stuff up there. You might want to check it out. Uh, the one of mine now is called uh, Free as an Irish Man Can Be. It's 1850, there's a million graves. We're saving up to sail away. But the famine struck like a ball of pain. Yeah, there's nothing left but a landlord claim. So I got in a ship to Canada. Now there's only one place that's worse than hell And that's an Irish ship at sea I swore to the Lord if I ever see land I'd always have a prayer for him But when I set my foot down On the great land of Canada I only had one thing to say and I say it the same way today Free, free, free Free as an Irish man can be Free, free, free Free as an Irish man can be Yeah Stop it, Tom, eh? I was nothing but skin and bones I was nothing but skin and bones And I had no place to go And I had no place to go So I went up north to Gravenhurst Went up north to Gravenhurst Gravenhurst, they told me Gravenhurst, they told me I Had a little further to go I Had a little further to go Go up the lakes I went up the lakes I went all the way Russell, all the way up to Russell, but I got to Russell aboard a pen, but I got to Russell aboard a pen. I wrote a letter to my friend, I wrote a letter to my friend. Here it goes. Free, 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 free as an Irish man can be. Free, 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 free as an Irish man can be. Oh yeah, you can be the heart of this one. Now sending money from America The wage of war that Cromwell fought But I told my friends I won't buy yet I left the land to begin again but When I laid down my head On the wall I rode above my bed Here we go! Free, free, free Free as an Irish man can be Free, free, free Free as an Irish man can be. Free as an Irish man can be. Yeah. You know what I got in my hands? <laughs> Who would like to have an autograph for the page from, uh, Let's see, Reasons to Live On by Sean Rosso. We got the page, the words, and an autograph. If you don't agree, come on up and get it. It's yours. Free. Free. Yeah, we got to say free. And by the way, he's got lots of music for sale here and there and everywhere. If you want to talk to him about doing a gig or something, I'm sure he's open to something down the road. Thank you for dropping by. All right, Mr. Ryan McKinnon. Drop on up and read us a couple of poems. Ryan is uh, internationally known. He's uh, won a couple of awards. And I look into the photo albums. And your photo isn't here. It's been so hard to live. All I want to do is shed a tear. I loved you to no end and your soul has gone on. Above the sorrow, your smile shines 
like the sun at dawn. You were there to hold me by your side, no matter, no matter how many times I walked away from you. I listened to you, I listened as you reminisced and started and stared into your, into those eyes of ocean blue. I remember, I remembered all the times I helped you, helped you keep going. I remember the, the inspiration I drew from you like a river flowing. Along with the good, bad memories have occurred since you left for your eternal home. One memory is coming, one memory is coming home, drunk and waking up feeling so alone. Another bad memory was watching what you held together blow apart. To watch something like that tore out and shredded my weakened heart. I don't blame God for this unfortunate lesson in life. Even to this day, we struggle with the side effects of the strife. My silence has been broken and my heart is sad and blue. In the end, for everything you did, for me, all I can say is thank you. Thank you. Fast 
fever has the best of me. My feet will take me where my heart leads. I never know where that wandering fever will end. So for now, I will go with the flow. All right. your friend. It gives you sap with which to blend. Sweets like syrup, fudge, and candy. But too bad, no. Maple brandy. Maple ice cream's pretty cool. You can even eat it with your gruel. And if your mom will let you try, it goes real great on apple pie. Maple coffee is good too. It warms you up from hat to shoe. But if you need a pick-me-up, add some Irish to your cup. And when you go to bed, you see, the frame is from a maple tree. Now's the greatest thing of all, flying high from towers tall, a flag that's proud beyond belief, between two bars, a maple leaf. Can you imagine sitting there, between the bars, a teddy bear? So now it's time to, woohoo, now it's time to thank friend Maple for giving us these products staple. And once more for our symbol fair, with apologies to the teddy bear. Now that is kind of neat, using a shaker with poetry. There's something new all the time. What do you get at the Stocky Center, right? Ann Hines, you're up. And it is on iTunes.com forward slash Ann Hines. <laughs>
on a Sunday afternoon. production and it's a musical and uh, here it goes. There was a time when men were kind, when their voices were soft and their words inviting. There was a time when love was blind and the world was a song and the song was exciting. There was a time then it all went wrong. I dreamed a dream in time gone by When hope was high and life worth living I dreamed that love would never die I dreamed that God would be forgiving When I was young and unafraid When dreams were made and used and wasted there was no ransom to be paid, no song and song, no wine untasted. But the tigers come at night with their voices soft as thunder as they tear your hope apart when they turn your dream to shame. Got your little head down in your hands. No, my God, can't believe it's happening again. Your baby's gone and you're all alone, and it looks like the end. You're back out on the streets And you're trying to remember oh, Times you started over You don't know if you can You don't care much for a stranger's touch But you can't hold your man you never thought you'd be alone This far down the line And I know what's been on your mind You're afraid it's all been wasted time 
The autumn leaves have got you thinking About the first time that you fell ill You didn't love the boy too much No, no, you just love the boy too well Well, farewell So you live from day to day And you dream about tomorrow And the hours go by like minutes And the shadows come to stay and so you take a little something to make it go away. And I could have done so many things, baby, if I could only stop my mind from wondering what I left behind. And from worrying about this wasted time Another love has come and gone And all the years keep rushing on I remember what you told me Before you went out on your own Sometimes to keep it together, you gotta leave it alone. And you can get on with your search, baby. And I can get on with mine. And maybe someday we will find that it wasn't really wasted time oh, oh. Shoes. Don't get me wrong, I'm a goody one shoe. And I'm going to sing a song off of my uh, latest album. It is available. I think we're going to give away a copy of it here tonight. It's called My Song, and uh, that's the name of the album. I'm going to do a song called When She's Drinking. Let's see if I can remember all the words. It's been a while since I did this one. She's had a few Cause that's the only time that she gets close And says, I want you She only loves me when she's had some beer Cause that's the only time that she gets near And then she comes and whispers in my ear And says, I want you Well, I can't be too good looking In the middle of the day Cause she never wants to get too close And she never wants to play But when the around and she's had a beer or two that's when she gets up close to me and says baby i want you she only loves me when she's drinking she only loves me when she's had a few because that's the only time that she gets close and says i want you she only loves me when she's had some beer because that's the only time that she gets near and then she comes and whispers in my ear and says i want you Seems she only loves me in the middle of the night That might be 
Cause it's dark and I look better with no light When the evening rolls around yeah. Okay, so we got some wrong words Let me pick up and figure out where I am again She only loves me when she's drinking She only loves me when she's had a few Cause that's the only time that she gets close and says I want you She only loves me when she's had some beer that's the only time that she gets near And then she comes and whispers in my ear And says, I want you When she's sober as a judge She seems to want her space She never ever talks to me Or wants to see my face But when the beer starts flowing And the timing gets just right That's when she gets up close to me And says, I want you tonight she only loves me when she's drinking She only loves me when she's had a few Cause that's the only time that she gets close and says I want you She only loves me when she's had some beer Cause that's the only time that she gets near And then she comes and whispers in my ear and says I want you Well I've noticed here just lately that she ain't been close to me And I'm feeling pretty sad you know quite lonely but you know i got a cue for that i'll tell you what i'll do i'm going to the beer store and i'll grab a case or two because she only you because that's the only time that she gets close and says i want you she only loves me when she's had some beer because that's the only time that she gets near and then she comes and whispers in my ear and says i want you if you'd like to know the rest of the words, pick up the CD that's going to be given away here and you can find out what those words are that I missed. One of them that I wrote, thanks very much for having me tonight. And he's on ReverbNation.com. I'm Rob Bush. Oh, 
love the way it shakes. Okay, now you're there. Well, I'm headed to my ice palace, cross my Skoka Lake, and my pancakes, and my fishing bait. Well, it may be cold outside, my dear, but I tell you what, I've got a fishing hut. Fresh from the lake to my mouth, got the sweetest Muskoka Lake trout. Butter and seasoned pan fried, all my neighbors are dropping by. That's all you guys. I only got one little fish, though. I'm gonna have to share it. My friend Johnny is the best bait and tackle man. Keeps everything swimming in his van. And Marty's got the cookbook we can all understand. It starts with the flame under the pan. Fresh from the lake to my mouth. Got the sweetest Muskoka Lake trout. Butter and seasoned pan fried. And my neighbors are drunk. By Kamano. Got a little fishing pole. I don't know what's with those ice huts anyway. I think I'll go to the native land. Get me a little bit of pickup truck fuel. And cigarettes. Read them dark here. Rod Pillen. He has performed at Second City in Toronto, Yuck Yucks, and Absolute Comedy. Check him out on YouTube under Uncle Rod's Comedy. So we got, uh, I guess, the uh, Canada Long Weekend. Everybody enjoyed their long weekend? Yeah. It's fantastic, right? I mean, that's a holiday, right? That's a holiday. I mean, you go to the States, and what they do is to get a holiday, they just shoot someone, right? You know, they got President's Day. Martin Luther King Day, they're just blowing away people to get holidays. I mean, even the Romans killed Jesus. There's Easter and Christmas. I mean, but what do Canadians invent? What do Canadians invent? Family Day. What the hell is Family Day? There's no cake. You don't hide any eggs. There's no presents. You just sit around all day looking at your family going, God, I hate you people. That's horrible, isn't it? But everybody enjoyed the, uh, the fireworks? Yep. I brought my kids. My daughter, Sarah, was up here earlier uh, singing. And uh, my, my lovely wife there, Terry, we've been married, uh, going to be 20 years in September. Yeah, 20 years. Uh, a friend of hers said, are you going to renew your vows? I said, I didn't know they expired. <laughs> no, I didn't. It's like a leased car. It's got to be a new rule under the government. I know. Someone's got to say something. But not that I followed his instructions. When I was, uh, when I was a kid and I thought I was going to get married, I went to my grandfather, and I said, Gramps, I said, do you have any advice for a young kid that's thinking of getting married? And he says, yeah, I do, kid. He says, you marry the ugliest woman you can find. I go, come on, Gramps, seriously? He says, I'm telling you, three reasons. One, no one else will sleep with her, so she'll stay true. Makes sense. He says, number two, if she fools around on you and people find out, they'll understand. And number three, if she leaves you, who cares she was ugly anyway? Not bad advice. But anyway, I know in Perry Sound is a little different, but we have the Pride Parade down in uh, Toronto just this couple weekends ago, and boy, uh, if you've ever been, don't. Um, 
I was down at the harbor and I was, uh, I was just sort of eavesdropping on two guys, Stephen and Lance. And the one says, Lance, he says, what's that pretty boat over there? The one with the curtains, it's gorgeous. He says, well, that's the Toronto Ferry, silly. And Lance says, oh my God, I knew he had rights, but I didn't know he had a Navy. <laughs> So anyway, a little, a little thing that I want to share with you. This is new because uh, the Canadian Comedy Awards are coming up and I'm in the top three running about uh, interviewing, intervie or not interviewing, but introducing Woody the Beaver. It's actually, uh, it's actually their, uh, their symbol and their mascot and it's a beaver with the buck teeth. It's so Canadian with the microphone. It's really cool. So uh, this is my little shtick on Woody the Beaver. Now, I don't know, obviously, being up in Perry Sound, this is the perfect opportunity to do this, because I don't know if you guys, little known about the beaver, is if you've ever had raspberry artificial flavoring, right? Jams, jellies, bubblicious gum, Tim Hortons donuts. Yogurt. How, yogurt, exactly, sir. The, where they get artificial raspberry flavoring, and this is true in all the young kids, I see one that can uh, look it up on their iPods. This is true. Artificial raspberry flavoring comes from the secretion of a beaver's anus. Look it up. It's very true. Now, I'm just thinking, how did this happen? It must have been some drunken idiot in Quebec in the 1800s. Just uh, Montreal. He's got the beaver and he's licking going. Like someone had to taste it. But without confirmation, there is no uh, affirmation. So you had to go, hey Tom, come here, put your tongue in this. Like, how do you convince your buddy to put a tongue in a beaver's bum? I don't know. But you know what, I'm 47 years old and uh, I've had a lot of beaver and not one tastes like raspberry. Thank you. You're welcome. Look him up on YouTube. Uncle Rob's Comedy. Thank you for all coming tonight. And appreciate you. We love you all. I hope to do this again. Thank you, Craig, for running this out. Like a shadow in the night That I can't leave behind Got a feeling that the Stocky Center, and this is July the 4th. Happy USA Day, right? Get ready, here we go. Have an asked our friends about you. I don't call you on the phone. I never drive by that new place. But I still turn each corner Hoping you'll run into me Ready? Okay Out of sight and on my mind Your memory's always with me Like a shadow in Sight 